I'm Dave, this is the RPG Rundown, and today we're taking a look at these Dragon Shield products for role-playing games. We have the Spell Codexes and the Game Master Companion. We're going to open these boxes and take a look at all the good stuff inside and talk about it. First, let's take a look at these Spell Codexes. These are player aids as opposed to Game Master aids. And the most straightforward thing that this does, other than having a really nice looking cover, is that it holds your spell cards. D&D, Pathfinder, whatever spell cards you have. Let's open this up and you'll see that we've got these binder sleeves right in there for them. You'll slide your card right in from the side. On top of that, you've got a pocket here. If you want to keep something for reference, there's a clear pocket here. And there's one in the back also. These also come with a dry erase marker. Presumably you can use it to mark on the plastic card protectors here. They also come with a few extras. One of them is this spell tracking card. It's got uh, spell levels and slots here, space at the bottom to write down some spell names, uh, space for your spell attack bonus and your spell saving throw stats you can put on there for reference. And then just a bit of an ordinary note sheet here to tuck into it as well. And finally, each of these comes with a little mini adventure. These mini adventures have their own creatures. So the stats for the creatures on the back and the mini adventure is printed inside. Now this is just one cover. I'll show you all the ones that we received. There's this one. This nice purple looking one. This one looks kind of sorcerish to me. I don't know why. Circles, sorcery, they're both sibilant maybe. And here though, we've, we've clearly got the strongly hinted uh, druid form with the bear paw here. Now let's take a look at the big piece, the Game Master Companion. This is, of course, for Game Masters or Dungeon Masters. It's a couple of things in one. So let's take a close look. Here you can see it's a big, chunky box, but if we open it up, it unfolds into two pieces. The first one we'll look at is this container. It's got foam inside of it. You can put miniatures in here. You've also got slots for cards here. And it does also come with these coated plastic cards and a dry erase marker. You can use these for your reference and we'll see in a minute here how they interact with the GM screen, which is the other part of this. So this piece becomes a handy GM screen, quite large. Let's take a full view here. The front of it has this kind of leatherette cover with this embossed artwork in it. It's nice looking artwork. And then for the GM, we have these handy slots. So there's a little bit of a plastic sleeve here and at the bottom. So if you want a record sheet for stats or rules, any kind of cheat sheet you want to print out or write out, you can put it in here. And then I'm gonna fold it back for better viewing. But what we're looking at here is the center of the screen. So here's the center panel. I have it bent back so we can see it in frame. But from the GM's perspective, you can have character reference cards like this, and you can slot them right into the top. And if you want to, you can handle your initiative order this way, which is one of the things they suggest you can do with it. So you can track your player initiative here by putting names on the top. One issue I see with this is that it's gonna be left to right this way for the game master, but this way 
for the players. So you might have to get used to going from the bottom up if you're going to use this for your initiative tracker visible to both you and the players. But I can see other uses for it too. If you want to put some quick stats on the cards and you know you need to move them around because one is active, maybe it's a spell effect, maybe it's a reminder that something has to happen on round three, like the other enemies arrive or someone's spell ends or an effect ends, I could see this as a handy way to do that as well. Now, just like the spell code X's, the Game Master's Companion comes with a mini adventure. And you can see it looks pretty much the same as the adventures that are in the spell code X's. About the same size, one monster on the back, one little story inside. So that's our look at the Dragon Shield role-playing accessories. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you think you would find those cards useful on the top of the GM screen, or which of the spell codex designs you liked and you think you might get. And as always, please like and subscribe. We have the spell codexes and the Game Master Companion.